Hi everyone, I've done a lot of reviews lately, overviews, rent videos, but I haven't done uh, many uh, tutorials and I want to change that by making this tutorial about the HP Prime on how to graph equations. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is, uh, in this video we're just going to be doing uh, some basic graphing functions, second degree polynomial and uh, third degree polynomials and simple linear equations. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is uh, when you are in uh, on, on the app screen, you just want to uh, select the first option. Your calculator might be different because uh, you can uh, uh, change uh, the position of this app as you wish. So just look for function. Okay, so the, fir the first function, not advanced graphing or anything, just look for function and uh, you want to select that. Okay, so this is the page you are going to be uh, presented with. And as you can see here, I have uh, three equations so the last one is unchecked i want to i'm gonna get back to that one later on okay so the first one is a third degree polynomial the second one is a second degree polynomial you can pause the video and put these equations on your calculator so we can be on the same page if you would like to follow along with me okay so once you have the equation written here you just have to press on plot okay so before i even get ahead of myself uh i want to do this video as uh as if uh, I am uh, making this video for complete like a noobs for people who don't have any idea on how to use this calculator so just like I show you you could have access uh, the function from here or if you were at home if you were on on the home screen you could have just uh, press on same but you gotta be careful with that because what happened is uh, let's say you were doing some 3d graphing earlier without even knowing it and uh, you go to cast and if you press the same key, then it's gonna take you back to the 3D graphing, okay? So that's why I always recommend that you access uh, your uh, so your basic graphing feature through the app by selecting the function app, okay? So function is always gonna take you to the right place if you are going to do this kind of graphing, okay? And uh, you probably wonder, okay, so how do I put this, uh, uh, how do I put my equations in? okay so as you can see i already have a dc equation written but if you wanted to add some more so this is how you would do it so you can just uh use this navigation key to go uh to whatever uh number you want as you can see f1 f2 are taken f4 is taken as well uh, the reason why i there there's no reason behind the fact that i didn't put uh, my x minus three in uh, f3 i just want to show you that you can do whatever you want it doesn't really matter which uh, box you put it you, you put your function in Okay, so you can just add another function by, you know, by navigating to uh, using the, the direction keys. So here you can just put a random function. It's going to be, you know, x uh, to the power of, uh, let's see, 6, as you can see. And uh, whenever you use uh, this uh, uh, exponent uh, button, then uh, you have to use uh, the right arrow direction key to come down to add uh, some more expression let's see minus 6x okay and then uh, you just uh, press enter and uh, it's gonna put this uh, graph uh, in f5 here but if you don't want to graph this one which in this case we are not going to we don't want to graph that one then you can just uh, use this uh, check mark next to it as you can see you can highlight the function use this uh, check mark uh, sorry for that use this little check, check mark here and it's gonna check for you or you can also use the one on the side to uncheck it. As you can see, I'm doing this uh, behind the camera, so it's uh, a little harder than looking directly at the, at the calculator, okay? So if the graphs, the functions are unchecked, it's not going to graph them, okay? So right now, we're just gonna be focused on these two, okay? So right now, we are going to uh, grab these two functions and uh, see what else we can do about it. Uh, find the zeros, the max, the mean, what not, okay? So once you have your equations uh, in here, all you gotta do is just uh, press uh, the plot, pl uh, plot button and uh, it will graph it for you. This is really fast. This is as fast as, as it will get, at least for now. This is the fastest graphing, graphing calculator on, on the market right now. So it doesn't even, uh, it doesn't even show you uh, the graphing uh, process. It just graphs it by itself, okay? And uh, as you can see here, uh, your windows might, your, uh, your view might look slightly different, okay? So, if you were doing something earlier, you know your gra your your thing uh, your 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 uh, screen might look something like this, 
as you can see you need to uncheck this one and uh you know try to grab it it's gonna tell you okay there is no function selected okay that's fine but if you want to uh grab your stuff again and uh you know let's see and uh plot it then uh, your window is always gonna look this way as you can see so that's the reason why i had this third function so let's say you were doing a uh, uh something with this function earlier so you decided to grab this one and uh you were trying to you know to look at this function really close as you can see it is just a line it's just a straight line x minus three okay as you can see shift it down by three unit one two three so that's where the graph crosses the y-axis as you can see here so if you are trying to see close up close and uh you know you just uh decide to do some other stuff so you exit out of here and uh, you don't know how to uh but now you finish with this one so you uncheck it and now you want to deal with these two so you graph it and it's going to show you this and this can be overwhelming for some for those who are not too used to the calculator so you have uh some zoom functions some zoom features here as you can see so all these uh, have different uh, different meaning but uh i'm not gonna go through all of them because i don't want to make this video super long but zoom square you know everything is pretty self-explanatory i'm probably gonna cover these uh, in some future videos but for now let's just focus on how to you know to get a a decent uh, view for your graphs or for your functions so i've tried uh all of all of these uh, functions all of these features the one that seems to work out the best is just the trick function the trick one here so the trick option is just gonna show you a nice decent view and you can uh, zoom a little bit if you wanted to okay so now we are on the same page okay so as you can see uh the graph is color coded uh the yellow one i mean the red one is my second graph and the blue one is my first one as you can see here and uh you know now you have the graph so now what what can you do about it so now let's say the first uh the third degree problem the first graph the blue one let's say you want to find a zero on that one so on hp calculators it's really easy this is uh pretty much uh the same as you will you, you would on your 50g 49g plus 49g even 48g2 or 48g uh, 48g ii some people like to call it okay so what you do is uh so now before we even uh, uh try to find the zeros i gotta tell you what this direction key means so that's really really important so you gotta keep that in mind and as you can see here i have the trace uh option checked so what trace does if you have trace check then uh, you can easily uh, navigate between uh, the two graphs so if you press the up and down arrow it's gonna switch graphs it's gonna switch functions so right now i'm uh, i'm on function i'm i'm, I'm dealing with fun f, uh, the uh, first function f1 which is the blue one and if i press down or up it doesn't matter then it's gonna we only have two graphs here so if i press down it's gonna take me uh to function two now okay so with trace on as you can see trace is still on now i want to deal with f1 if i press up and down it's gonna switch between uh functions if i press left and right then it's gonna travel across the graph i have selected as you can see i don't know if that makes sense as you can see it's gonna travel across the graph the graph i have selected here if i press up now i'm i'm, uh, I'm dealing with f1 press down f2 one f1 and left and right then it's gonna travel across that graph i have selected as you can see the reason why you couldn't see this one earlier is because i was out of the range so yeah i was if you are all the way up let's see if you're all the way over here and as you can see this arrow then uh if you're trying to travel across the graph then it's going to show you that arrow that means that you are way out of the range so, so to fix that you can just uh, you know press down to come to f2 you know to the second function so the character can know okay uh so it can show you this uh, little mark here okay and then once again you can press f1 let's see f1 and uh left and right arrow key then it, it's gonna travel across the graph as you can see okay so that's what trace does if you are trace unselected now then you can navigate through the whole plan you can just navigate anywhere you want as you can see so that's what trace, trace is so the reason why you want to have this on let's say for instance i am uh, all the way up here and uh i just uh i'm all the way up here and I just uh, want to go to uh, you know to the blue graph really fast. So I want to uncheck that, come over here, you know, check it really fast. 
and have my trace on as you can see so now if i do trace i'll be immediately on the uh, blue graph as you can see and i can always switch between graph here okay so that was slightly uh <laughs> that explanation was uh, i hope that explanation wasn't too confusing you can always uh, leave your comment and i will make sure to get to them i might miss some stuff here so if i do feel free to comment your concern your questions and i'll do my best to get to them okay so now we cover that okay again to reiterate so up and down is gonna switch between graphs left and right is gonna travel it's gonna uh, let you travel across the graph you have selected as you can see here okay so now let's go finding our zeros so the zeros are just uh where uh uh the uh, uh at, at, at which point uh, your graph crosses the x-axis so that's that, that's your zeros but on hp hp doesn't call them zeros hp call them roots okay so it's pretty much the same thing if you are coming from a texas instrument calculator then it's gonna say zero on hp calculators it's gonna say root so root and zero is going to be the same thing okay just so you know so we want to look for the zero on the first graph the blue graph the polynomial the graph of the third degree so right now as you can see we are f2 so the zeros again are just where uh, your graph crosses the x-axis so you have to do some manual work as you can see you just have to look you know you, you gotta look and you can zoom in that's the great feature about this calculator you can zoom in to look really up close if you want to if you need to as you can see you know as you can see here you can tell that uh, okay so the uh, graph is crossing the, our x-axis here but you don't know the exact value no one no one can know unless you know you you look for it closely as you can see here so if you want to find a zero you just gotta go to menu so first let's make sure we are using our uh we are on first the first function so f1 is selected okay so that's now nah, that's done so now you gotta go to menu and function and you have all these functions here as you can see you have these function options and they do different stuff we're probably gonna cover some of those or all of them in uh in, a, in in future videos but for now i just want to focus on the zeros and the max and mean so this video is probably going to be slightly longer than i i had anticipated but uh you know i have some time so i just want to cover those three for now okay so again like i said earlier on hp calculators they don't call them zeros or they don't call it zeros they call it uh roots instead so root and zero is the same thing zero is what you will find on a ti calculator okay so if you go to root okay so let me let, let me take a step back okay i haven't done this in a long time i'm really sorry about that about this okay so if you want to find a zero for x3 as you can see it is a third degree polynomial so it is going to have three zeros in this case it is going to have three zeros so the first thing you want to do is to have uh, your function selected the one the, the function you want to find a zero of and second you have to come close to where the graph crosses the s the x axis as you can see how my trace on so i can navigate fully on the graph i know for sure uh the cursor is not gonna go outside of the graph so you just gotta come close to it you don't have to be dead ass on it you don't you don't have to be uh exactly on it you just have to come close to it as you can see this is close enough if you will this is even close enough again you don't have to be very close to it so this is close enough okay so once you come close to the uh, first point then you just press function and uh, hit uh, four. You can see this is touch screen, so you can either select it or press it. So this is our first zero. So that's where uh, this is where the uh, uh, the graph crosses the x axis at negative point eight four seven, if you will. Okay. So now you can write it down somewhere. But something uh, this calculator also has. Before I forget, I want to do this right now. Before I forget. So let's say you cannot remember this number and for some reason you want the whole number, okay? So you can do whatever you want with it. So if you don't remember the number, you can just press the home key or cast, it doesn't matter. So you press the home key. I was doing some of this uh, testing earlier. So you can, uh, let me just clear my stack so you are not too confused. So blue and shift is gonna clear the stack for me, the stack for me. So once you are home or cast, you can just press a bars and function. That's the first app if you were doing something else on your calculator you might be here in home so you just gotta navigate to app and click function and it's gonna be result where it says result so you just click result and number three says root if you select root 
it's gonna put root on the stack for you and uh, all you gotta do is just press enter and it's gonna show you uh the uh the first zero or the first root that uh, or the not, not the first the last root we uh we were looking for we we did while graphing so you know you can do something uh with this if you wanted to you know you can see uh, what the number would look like as a fraction okay as you can see so that is that so now from here if i want to go back to my graph i don't have to do anything i just gotta press plot again and uh it's gonna take me back to the graph here and actually something i want to mention is that when you press every time you you go to home and uh you press plot it actually does the whole graphing again it actually regraphs the whole thing i believe it does because unless it is 3d anyways i don't want to digress too much that's gonna be a topic for another uh, video probably again my videos are not scripted i just you know i just start the camera and just uh, you know start making the video so forgive me if i'm making any uh any mistakes you know but uh yeah it is what it is okay so now where were, where were we so we we found the first zero so now as you can see like uh the uh, the graph crosses our x at three at uh at three different places so this is the first place so if you want to find the second one it's really easy so you just gotta use the left and right left or right uh, direction key to come close to the second the second point again this is close enough like i said you don't have to be very close to it so you just gotta come in close enough to it and uh, press menu function and then for root and this is where x this is where the graph crosses the x axis this is the second time the graph crosses the x axis so that's 0.5 as you can see again you want to do something with that normal you just got go to home you can just highlight this put on the stack press enter and it's going to give you this uh number and if you want to see what it would look like in the, as a fraction then it's one over two okay so go back to plot again again the remark i made earlier whenever you press on plot it does not regraph the whole thing so as you can see uh we have some uh the uh, some of these work that we were, we were doing earlier are still here so the last one this come close to the last place x uh, graph crosses the x axis close enough menu function root so this is the last place our graph crosses the x axis okay so now we did that and now we can do the same thing for the second function and it's going to be the same thing so press okay and but now we get, we have to switch from uh, from the first function to the second one. So you just press left or right. I mean up or down. Okay, now we're on F2. So we just gotta come close to here. As you can see, that's where we're. This is close enough. Press menu function root, and this is where the graph crosses the x-axis. Okay. So now we gotta go to the second one. If you hold it, it's gonna take you. This is even close enough, if you will. Function root and of course obviously it's going to be a negative value and as you can see these numbers are identical because our function is just a parabola and uh this is what it looks like if you go to 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 x square minus five so that's what it looks like okay so yeah uh now that we find we find the, the zeros or the roots as hp likes to call it we can now look for the mean and the max of both both function so since we are already uh, on function on on on, uh, on the second function, we can just look for the there is no max here. We can just look for the mean. That's the lowest point of the graph. Okay. So to do that, you just gotta go to menu, and again, before you even do that, just uh, come close. That's the manual work you have to do. You have you have to look. You know you have to look at the graph, examine the graph, and you know this is the mean. You know it's just gotta be close enough. You know close enough, and press function and uh, hp does not have uh, two functions or they don't have a function saying max or mean minimum or maximum value they so this is the x mom that's going to be uh that's going to be uh for finding both the mean and the max of your function so you press you can either press eight on the keypad or you can just select it here so the x mom here which is our mean is going to be at x is zero that's the coordinate and y is a uh, negative five as you can see that's our graph uh shifted down by five units so that's our minimum here 
So that's all. That's all you have to do. It's really easier. It's very easy on a on HP calculator on, on, on an HP calculator, especially the prime here. Okay. So now for the second one, press OK here for the second one. It's uh, gonna be a uh, up or down arrow. It doesn't matter up or down. So now it says okay, this is function one is selected. So if you wanna find the max on this one or the mean, so you gotta be really careful with it here. So let if I'm here and you go to function. And press 8 let's see now as you can see if you w watch close closely then uh, it takes you to the maximum point so this is the maximum point so when you are here the uh, the calculator is just gonna assume that uh, the point you were closest to that's what you're gonna it's gonna show you so in this case we were, we were about here so that was closer to the max than it was to the mean so it's just gonna show you the maximum uh, coordinate so which is this one right here okay and uh, so obviously you would now you can probably easily find the minimum value. So you just kind of have you just kind of have to come close to here. So as you can see, this is close enough. This is close enough to the mean. So if you press function eight, then as you can see, the cursor is on the minimum. As you can see, this is the coordinate for the for for your, for your mean for, for your mean here. Okay. I uh, didn't want to make this video super long, but uh, it's already too late for that. It's already 20, 21 minutes in. So, and that's all I wanted to cover for uh, this video. If you have any questions, just make sure you put it in the comment section. And before I also forget, uh, just like I showed you earlier, uh, if you go to var, if you go to home, you go home var and function and uh, results. And here you have extra mom. If you press that, then it will only show you uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the X value. So as you can see, it does not show you the coordinate. Alright, if you have any questions, just make sure uh, you put it in the comment section. Thank you.